Two questions from the FAA private pilot written exam cover setting the altimeter. But first, let's go over some of the basics. This knob here, known as the barometric scale adjustment knob, adjusts the barometric pressure inside the Colesman window, which is named after Paul Colesman, a German-American inventor who invented the first barometric altimeter. Currently, this altimeter is indicating 150 feet below sea level. We're in South Florida, so we know that is incorrect. The current barometric pressure can be found by listening to the automated weather, which is listed here on the sectional chart, or by looking in the chart supplement. Listening to the frequency, we want to listen for the altimeter setting, which will sound like this. And that needs to be set in the Colesman window. As the set pressure in the Colesman window increases, the altimeter also increases. This is important to the questions we're about to answer. One other way to set the altimeter is to set the field elevation into the altimeter. In this case, the field elevation is 5 feet. This method would be used if the airport does not have an automated weather system or if the automated weather system is broken or that piece of information is missing. When operating below 18,000 feet, the altimeter should be set to a station along the route within 100 nautical miles of the aircraft. And let's say we do that and this happens. If a pilot changes the altimeter setting from 3011 to 299 or 6, what is the approximate change in indication? In this example, we're going from a higher pressure, 3011, to a lower pressure, 2909 or 6. The altimeter setting is going to go to a lower number, and the altimeter will indicate a lower altitude. Doing the math, that's a difference of 0.15. Every inch of pressure change equals 1,000 feet. If we take this answer times 1,000, that will tell us the altimeter will indicate 150 feet lower. For the second question, let's say we're cruising along at 2,000 feet and the altimeter went from 2,915 to 2,985. The pressure increased. As the pressure is increased with the adjustment knob, the altimeter indicates a higher altitude. We know the altimeter is going to indicate higher by how much we need to do some math. The difference in these two pressures is 0.7 inches of mercury. Multiplying 0.7 times 1,000 gives us 700 feet for a 700 foot increase in indicated altitude. Those are the basics of setting an altimeter in two FAA private pilot written test questions. As always, thank you for watching.